Hi, my name is Sunny Solanki, and in today's video, I will explain how to deploy your Python dashboard to the web. We will be deploying dashboard using a famous uh, website named Python Anywhere. Python Anywhere let us deploy one web app for free using the free account. So we will be using it to deploy our dashboard. Now the dashboard that we are going to deploy is the one I had created in one of our previous videos. So I have created a dashboard using Python libraries, uh, dash and plotly and we'll be deploying that dashboard to the web using python anywhere so first of all let me show you how that dashboard looks by running the dashboard all right so i have a shell open on my end and i will run the dashboard so it's a saved in a file name python dashboard uh, plotly dashboard.py i will simply run it by using python command okay so the server is up and running and it's running at this location so i will copy the link and all right let me show you the dashboard okay so the dashboard is simple one it has two charts one scattered chart and one stacked bar chart so the data uh, the data set that we have used to create this dashboard is a famous wine data set which is available from a python library scikit-learn and over here the sort of data set has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wine class zero class one and two so scatter chart let us let us explore relationship between various ingredients so over here i can change the ingredients and then there is a checkbox which if i select then color the points of the chart based on the wine type and over here i have a stacked bar chart which shows the average values of ingredients per wine type so over here i have multi select which i can select to add and remove new ingredients as you can see i can add new ingredients all right so this is the dashboard that uh, we are going to deploy on the web now let me show you the code as well before we start the deployment process and give you a overview of the code that is used in the creation of this dashboard all right so uh, i have a visual studio code open on my screen and as you can see i have a few imports over here which are pandas plotly express for creating uh, plotly charts then wine data set and then few imports from plotly library so the code over here this part from line number 7 to 17 is the code which loads our data set then next we have code to create uh, two charts so there are two methods one is to create a scatter chart and one is to create a stacked bar chart then next i have defined a widget for our dashboard which is uh, two drop downs one checkbox and one multi select and then next i have created an app dash app over here as you can see and we'll be using this uh, app variable when we start deployment next i have set a layout of the app so i have laid, laid out various uh, widgets and chart over here as you can see and after defining layout i have defined a few callbacks as you can see so this callbacks links widget to charts so when we change any widget state like drop down value or checkbox value then the charts get updated based on selection so yeah so this is the server that uh, we are going to deploy using python anyway okay so let's get started with the deployment steps so let me open our website python anywhere so first of all you need to create an account on this website python anywhere so I have created account with name coders column 08. So we'll be using this account for uh, our deployment purpose. Okay, and uh, as you can see, with uh, free account, you will be able to deploy only one app. So as you can see on the dashboard over here, there are various tabs like consoles, files, notebook, and web apps. The console is where you can see various consoles currently running. So various shell. You can also open Python shell on in the file you can browse the file and over here in the notebook you can run jupyter notebook as well but it's not supported with the free account and here you can see the web app so currently i don't have any web apps so first of all let me create a web app so i need to create open web tab and from over here i will create a new web app so as you can see it has opened a window let's say your account doesn't support custom domain name so python anywhere web app will be live at this url 
So once we deploy our web app, it will be available from this URL. But if you upgrade the account, then you can link your custom domain as well. And the web web will be available from that uh, custom domain. Right. So let's click next. Next, I need to select a framework. So we'll be using a Flask framework. So it's very easy to configure. And I will use the latest version, Python 3.10, which is available. Okay. And now it's saying that the main Flask app Python file will be available in this location. Home codes column 0 at my site slash flask app dot py so i will modify this to flask wine slash dashboard right so let me click next and as you can see this has created our first app which is available code as column 08 so i can go to this link and currently it says hello from flask so it's a default default uh, application of flask and with the free account the app will keep running for three months so you need to log into your account uh, once in a three months and then there are a few things over here which i will explain when we come to this part again so now that we have created uh, our app next thing we need to do is we need to go to dashboard and start a new bash So as you can see on my screen the bash is open so this is a unix cell or linux cell now we will install the libraries that python libraries that we are going to use for our dashboard so we need three libraries which is plotly dash and scikit-learn so we will install them using pip 3.10 so pip 3.10 is the version uh, based on a python version which was uh, 3.10 we selected at the beginning I will say pip install dash dash user lotly dash and scikit learn. Okay, so as you can see, it's installing the libraries. And actually, I already have uh, run this step earlier. So it says requirement already satisfied because I have already installed this uh, libraries earlier. So now that uh, we are done with two steps, so we created a web app and we also install the libraries next is that we need to update the code for our dashboard so in order to do that i will go to this section browse file over here as you can see our desk uh, our website is uh, or our web app is present over here so i will go to this folder wine dashboard and first of all this is the default app currently which you saw over here hello from class so we need to delete this one because we won't be using it and we will be updating our own uh, dashboard uh, code so the code is over here plotly dashboard so this is the file name plotly dashboard where we have a code for our dashboard which i shared with you guys earlier as you can see right so now that we have uploaded a code for our dashboard which is over here find dashboard plotly dashboard the next step is we have to go to our app again by clicking over here and we need to edit this file which is uh, orders column 08 python anywhere dot com uh, wsgi so this is the file where we need to replace this line so over here as you can see it was importing flask app from flask app it was importing app now we deleted that file flask app but from our file lotly dashboard we will import the app which we had created as the lotly app and what i will do i will declare a variable name application and set it to lotly app dot server so what happens is that uh, python anyway looks for a variable name application where the server uh, is pointing to where the application is uh, present our flask application in our case it's uh, plotly app dot server which is assigned to application so the dashboard will be served now so now i need to save this file by clicking over here in save now again i need to go over here and we are almost done with the steps so the last step is to reload this web app 
so we can ask this to restart the server by clicking on reload coders column zero at this button right so i am rerunning the application and once it completes i will be going to this url okay so it seems that the reload has completed and the server has restarted let's go to this link and see whether the dashboard is available all right so as you can see our dashboard is now accessible through this link coders column 08 .python .com. so let's check whether various widgets are working or not so i will click color and code okay so chart got updated let's try various combinations alkalinity of hash okay So as you can see, as I change the widgets, the dashboard is getting updated as well. Okay, and let me check this one as well. Total phenols, flavonoids. You yeah. So the both the charts are updating, and our dashboard is up and running. So it's currently running at uh, HTTP only. But let me go to that web app section. So I will close this one and let's see so we updated this file over here wsgi uh, where we pointed to the our web app and as you can see there are various things over here source code it's pointing which is in wine dashboard directory walking directory is this one other than that you can access the logs from here if you want to access logs you want error logs you want server error log or server log has all the logs about all the requests made to the server you can also specify path to static files over here you can provide mapping and next step is you can also force https so we just need to click over here and we have enabled https so let's try once right so as you can see now there is a lock over there so the website is secured with https and as you can see the dashboard is working just fine yeah so you can also protect this dashboard using username and password some username and password if you want to see setup yeah so it was uh, that simple as you can see to deploy a dashboard uh, plotly dash dashboard using this uh, website called python anywhere and by default with free account it let us deploy only one dashboard or one web app for as to say but if you want to deploy multiple web apps then you will have to upgrade the account and if you want to link your custom domain then so you will have to upgrade the account the charges are not that much all right so that's it for this tutorial now if you want to see steps so i have a tutorial name how to build a dashboard using python and deploy online so over here i have steps as well so you can go to this deploy dashboard on python anywhere and there i have steps mentioned you can see so yeah so that's it for today's tutorial now if you have any doubts or any question then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and yeah uh, if you like the video and you feel that you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and see you next time